Hello guys, today I want to show you how to create a virtual machine on Google Cloud to host your Perfor server. First of all, you have to sign up on Google Cloud platform and uh, create your own account. And then um, when you create a new project, you can go to the navigation menu, compute engine and VM instances. VM is virtual machine and uh, here we click create and now we uh, have to adjust uh, our virtual machine first of all name it something yeah something you want to name it doesn't really matter i'm in europe so i take um, south carolina uh, because it's the nearest point to europe and it's still uh, applies to the free tier and select F1 micro instance at the machine type and then it, show, it should show this message here and then you know uh, that your first 744 hours um, in this month using this instance is free and th th this does mean you can use at least one instance if you use more uh, this hours uh, apply to both instances but when they are over you uh, have to pay for it um, here at the boot disk we click change I, I would uh, recommend going with Ubuntu and Ubuntu 18 LTS the bionic release and there you can change your settings it depends on your project how much um, space you need if you're just coding or something 10 gigabyte is enough 30 gigabyte is free so i just select 40 gigabytes for now and i guess there's still one thing you have to um here at the bottom um expand the management security disks menu to go to networking and here you have your network interfaces and you click on default and here you can select an external IP uh, if it says ephemer ephemeral uh, this does mean that it changes every time you restart the instance so if you don't want it you can create IP address and this one will be a static IP address and one static IP address is free so if you didn't already create one this will be free and if you use more than one static IP addresses uh, you will pay a little bit I don't know how much this I guess uh, or 0 0.4 cents per hour something like that and uh, here you type a name and uh, select a tier Premium is a little bit faster and if you are for example in Europe and have your instance in America I would recommend using this one but standard is cheaper. I don't really know what's the difference in pricing. The outgoing traffic is uh, costly anyway so um, yeah just consider it. And then you click reserve. I already um, have a, a static IP address in South Carolina so I can't create one now and yeah when you click reserve it should uh, show up here and there should be the name of your static IP address and then you have to click done and I think we're ready to create our instance And now we are ready to go. So that's it. Um, one thing, uh, if you want to use it with Perforce, a very, very important thing, I missed it the first time I tried to set up an instance for Perforce, and it drove me crazy. So uh, go to view network details here on the three dots, view network details. Go to firewall rules. And those are the default firewall rules. So um, you have to create a new firewall rule. 
uh, name it something you want, something considerable, and uh, the important thing is that it says ingress, allow, we can change this to all instances in the network, so it applies to all instances and you don't have to set up target uh, hashes or target, um, how's it called, target tags and uh, source IP ranges you should write 0 0.0.0.0 slash slash 0 that means that uh, it doesn't matter which IP you're accessing your instance from and you should allow specified protocols and ports and their TCP at 1666 and yeah that's it uh, just hit create and uh, then it should load and it should look exactly like this. Uh, your name of this firewall rule, ingress apply to all, IP range 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0 .0 .0 TCP 1666 and allow. And yeah, this uh, means that you can access your uh, preference instance from outside uh, via the port 16666. Now you're ready to go. Uh, I made a tutorial how to set up Careforce on uh, those instances and I showed you the exact uh, setup that you need to follow this tutorial and I will link it in the description. I hope it all worked and if it didn't work uh, just let me know in the comments. So have a good day and bye.